except that any one who wishes should take the way to his Lord. Put your trust in the living One, who does not die, and celebrate His praise. He suffices as one all aware of the sins of His servants. He who created the heavens and the earth and whatever is between them in six days, and then settled on the throne, the All-Beneficent. So ask about Him, someone who is well aware. When they are told, Prostrate yourselves before the All-Beneficent, they say, What is the All-Beneficent? Shall we prostrate ourselves before whatever you bid us? And it increases their aversion. Blessed is he who appointed houses in the sky, and set in it a lamp and a shining moon. It is he who made the night and the day alternate, for one who desires to take admonition, or desires to give thanks. The servants of the All-Beneficent are those who walk humbly on the earth, and when the ignorant address them, say peace. Those who spend the night with their Lord, prostrating and standing in worship. Those who say, Our Lord, turn away from us the punishment of hell. Indeed, its punishment is enduring. Indeed, it is an evil abode and place. Those who, when spending, are neither wasteful nor tight-fisted. And moderation lies between these extremes. Those who do not invoke another god besides Allah, and do not kill a soul whose life Allah has made inviolable except with due cause, and do not commit fornication. Whoever does that shall encounter its retribution, the punishment being doubled for him on the day of resurrection. In it he will abide in humiliation for ever, excepting those who repent, attain faith, and act righteously. For such Allah will replace their misdeeds with good deeds, and Allah is all-forgiving, all-merciful. And whoever repents and acts righteously, indeed turns to Allah with due penitence. Those who do not give false testimony, and when they come upon vain talk, pass by nobly. Those who, when reminded of the signs of their Lord, do not turn a deaf ear and a blind eye to them. And those who say, Our Lord, grant us comfort in our spouses and descendants, and make us imams of the god wary. Those shall be rewarded with sublime abodes for their patience, and they shall be met there with greetings and peace, to abide in them for ever in excellent abode and place. Say, what store my Lord would set by you were it not for your supplication, but you impugned me and my advice, so that will continue.